Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. What I want to cover in this module is how to get Microsoft Project data into a Visio timeline. So on the screen I've got a timeline option. I'm going to open that one. Let's create a blank one. And then basically what I want to do now is go to the You've got different options here, data, where you can just bring things from Excel and custom import. Uh, but if I go into the timeline tab, you've actually got import data from Microsoft Project. And as you can see there, you have to have project for this to work. You can also export data as well into project. So import, and then you need to browse for the file that you want to bring in. So I've called mine making T, so just open that file. Next, now it goes through the wizard. Basically, you've got options here to select whatever you want, but I'm leaving it on all. Next, and then this is just the different style block. Different option. I'm going to go for cylindrical timeline. This can all stay the same. On the advanced tab, you've got other options in there that you can change if you want. Not bothered with that just yet. Next. And that's giving you some summary of what's going to happen and then finish and then it should bring the timeline in like so and there you go so that's exactly how it sits in project so if i open project and making t you can see what that looks like in project so it's just basically a list of the tasks on how to make t if i just get the tasks over here you can see what it is there so I use this little project plan to show you critical path and whatever you've got Slack, which is prep cups in this example. So that coming back into Visio is now sitting in there. So if you want to adjust this once it's back in Visio, it's just a case of messing about with how you want it to look. If I go back to home, say I want that to be a bit bigger because that's the title. And I want it to be black, not gray. So change the font or whatever you want. Right click, add the arrow heads. So I like that at the end going in that direction. And then if some of these are looking a bit clustered, you just pull them down like so. And then you can separate them off so it's not they're not all on top of each other like that. So that's just basically very quickly how you can get data from Microsoft Project into a Visio timeline and then use the Visio timeline in a document or whatever you want to use it for. Now, if you want to link data, you have to use the data tab and import the data from the, whichever source you've got it in. So I've got some data in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll just show you this data. So this is just some tasks with some start and end dates. And I'm going to bring that in and link it to a Visio drawing. So go back into Visio go to the data tab and then you've got quick import or custom. I'll just go to custom just because it gives you a few more options. You can see the different options there. Go next. Then you select the source file, which is this one. And then you follow the wizard through. So it's just picking up one sheet and it's saying there first row of data contains column headings. Next. Now you can select or deselect the columns. So, for example, let's take these two off. I don't want those. And then OK to that. And then you've got the task there and the information. That's everything it's showing there. But that's the only ones to include. Click Next. And then that is the ID field. So that's the one that you need that's the unique identifier. Next. And then finish so once you know you can do that you can go and finish so if you bring a timeline on so let's bring a timeline on and so this is going september august to september um so what then what's the end date cancel that for a second end date is january so we need a timeline basically to cover that period so this one will do now if i just push this up a little bit what I've got here is those tasks that you saw in Excel. 
Now to link these tasks, you need to select what you want to link them to. So I want to link them to a block interval. So if I drag develop strategy on the field so you can see it, it comes up with this information. Now, this information is just the generic information. You'll notice there it's picked up interval description. It hasn't picked up develop strategy as a title, even though it's got this little link symbol. What is linked? is the data graphics information, not this. If you start changing this, it's as if you're just doing it manually. This data will all update and change, but the actual data on there will not, or you won't see it change. So I'm just gonna click OK to that, and then I'm going, now I'm going to edit this one, and I'll just pull it back off for a minute so you can see what I'm gonna do. What I need to get on the screen is the data graphics window. So on the data tab, Data graphics fields, is that the one I want? Tick that. Then all the fields that you can use are there. So if I tick on process name, it puts the process name to the right. And I need to edit that. I don't want it to sit there. So it is this information, this data graphics that updates, and this updates, not this generic stuff. So we need to basically hide that. So edit and tick this so that'll hide it so now that's hidden what i need to do is push this into this space so if i go back and edit the data graphics i need to click on it first edit so it's this one so I'll edit that one and at the moment that's the default setting but if you want to change this you need to go edit item and then take that tick off and then what I want this to be is I want it to be on the right, not right outside, and I want it to be at the top. And I don't want the label on it, so if I take the label off, not shown, OK. Now, if I click Apply, let's see what happens. So it's put it in on the right at the top. That's OK. I'm happy with that. So now what I need to do is I just click OK to this box so to get rid of that. I need to tick on the start date for this shape, click off it and then start date and then go, it's come up as a little flag so I want this to be on the left without a label edit this again so start date edit item I don't want it as an icon so text and it can be that, no label but I don't want it there, so I want it to be on the left, left, middle, in fact I'll go left, bottom, left, bottom, Let's see what that looks like, okay, apply, so it's, it's not gone left, because the label's there, even though I'm not showing the label, it still sits there, so what I need to do is manually change that, so if I just click OK for a minute, click on that, and go home, and put it to center for a minute and then left and then that will go left which is great then I click off that and click it back on again so it's all active back to the data tab comes on so it comes on in the same way and then edit and then click on it edit item so again this has got call out colored in so I don't want that on so get rid of that get rid of the label so there's no label so this wants to be on the right bottom right bottom click OK apply so it sits in there just as I want it and then I click OK to that and then that's got all the bits and bobs how I want it displayed now the way I've done this is by pulling this off it's no longer attached to that timeline so what you need to do so that's how I want it to format it I just pulled it off so you could see it what you should really do is you let it snap onto the timeline let me get the right shape so I've got the block interval, I just click OK to that, let it snap onto the timeline in its correct place. And then you can do the options by ticking these three on and then go and edit your data graphics. And then just change this to go left. So we've got it sitting in the right place. 
So if I drag this one on develop product, when I just drag it onto the screen, it comes up with the time. So this should be the 29th of August start date. And the 30th of September end date. Or there or thereabouts. Click OK and it drops into the right place. And then you'd go through the process of ticking on your data graphics and then obviously they're in the wrong place you go to the data tab advanced data graphics and select the one that you want which is that one and then we still have to edit it to get it to sit how we want it off on and then we've got the title the start and end date so remember it's this information that's updating based on whatever you've got selected there is what you should see so you need to get rid of the default text and then you can add these things to your timeline. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.